All right, time to play some Project Wingman, and you might notice that uh, this is not in VR because, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like setting up my uh, VR uh, uh, hardware right now. I have to do a lot of things. I, you know, I'm, I'm in a small room and I have to move some stuff around. I have like a huge uh, drum kit, electronic drum kit that I need to move for more space. And uh, it's blocking the door, so I, I just move that out of the way back to its original position. I don't know, it's just, uh, you know. So I'm going to play a little bit of this uh, today with just the 2D pancake mode. But I will try to get some some VR, obviously. I just want to actually play the game, you know. I, I got the game, and I've been so preoccupied with uh, other things that, um, yeah. You know, I just want to play the game. So I will get around to VR soon, but for now, I'm just going to play in 2D Pancake. Checking out the options here. First person field of view. Ooh, third person field of view. View camera, cockpit, external, HUD only. I'm going to do cockpit. Keep the camera sway. Uh, I don't know what AOA mod module activation is. <clears throat> Uh, knots per feet. Uh, I want to do green HUD color. And then the cockpit color is going to be green. Full HUD in cockpit. Uh, yeah, since we're not doing VR, I'm going to turn that on. HUD scale is fine. Radar HUD and VR. That's a VR option, obviously. Uh, I'm using... Oh, uh, before I mention... Uh, before I do anything else, I, I want to mention that I'm using a 360 gamepad. I do not have a HOTAS, so I can't really uh, tell you how that feels because I don't have a HOTAS. Um, yeah, so I'm just using the gamepad. We got some uh, controls here. Ooh, very full figured. Lots of uh, stuff here. Can we do a full test? Do a full test. All right, pitch is left stick, roll, left stick. Yaw is the triggers. Yaw are the triggers, sorry. Throttle are the shoulder buttons. That's that's unique. And then uh, I can't seem to get the uh, view functions to work, which is kind of weird. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. View functions. That's a five second input test. Okay. Shoot missile, gun. Oop, I did not get to do that. Shoot missiles, A. Or sorry, gun is A, map X, change target Y. I think B is shoot missile. Weapon cycle. How do you do that? That's uh, well, we can use the D-pad for cycling the weapons, but there's a button for it right here. I don't know which. Uh, hide, unhide UI. Okay, this is uh, if you click the sticks down, it's the SP module. Change cameras, right stick. Uh, okay. Novice controls, I don't know what that means. Hat function one. Ah, okay. Well, we've got a lot of stuff here. This is just, uh, I'm gonna have to play around with this with the controller, which is good. I mean, if I would have gone into this with, uh, with VR, I wouldn't probably uh, have enough time for this, but uh, let's see, curves and dead zones. Oh, wow. So if you probably have a HOTAS, this would probably be really good. Now this is HOTAS support. I mean, I, you know, I know Ace Combat 7 didn't have a proper HOTAS support uh, for a while. I don't know if they patched it because I used a controller. But also Star Wars, I think uh, Squadrons didn't have proper HOTAS support. But this, this is very, this is proper right here. You have like all these curves and stuff, dead zones. Really nice. That's pretty cool. And then we have calibration, which, uh, okay, 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 throttle, yes. Okay, I guess that's, um, that's, that's there. Miscellaneous, which is, oh, okay. And then key bindings. Oh, okay. Lots of, uh, key bindings there. You can have, uh, lots of inputs. So, again, definitely for the, uh, for the uh, the uh, players out there, so let's look at video settings. Everything seems to be okay. Everything's on high. Hopefully that'll work. 
audio. Let's turn down the music a bit. Let's go 60%. Subtitles on. Subtitles on the bottom. Yes, sirree. All right, let's actually get into the game. Let's uh, stop looking at options here and uh, get into one mission. Uh, settings? Oh, okay, now that's... Uh... Hey, hold on. What kind of languages do they have? I know I speak English, but I just wanted to check. Spoken language English. Oh, this... Yeah, this joystick is... I'm just going to use the mouse. <laughs> okay. You got all your languages there for your, uh, for your language of choice. All right. Well, you know what? Let's get actually, let's actually get into the game. So I've been stalling long enough. Uh, new campaign. I'm just going to do normal because I'm not special. <laughs> and this is a cutscene. Am I supposed to press a button? Oh no, okay. <laughs> well, you guys can read that. I don't have to read that for you guys. Hopefully you can read. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, I don't know if you can read or not. I'm not shaming anybody that doesn't know how to read, but oh, that's there for you to, to peruse at your own leisure. Okay, hundreds of years have passed. Humanity is now in the time known as after calamity. Ooh, <laughs> spooky. Serious. All right. We're the Sicario Corp. Hitman team number one. And our name is Monarch. Okay, cool. Our contract with this backwater place is just about to come to an end. And, well, thank God. I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while, but it's not very glamorous, considering we're here to work. Anyway, one last thing before the defense minister releases our contract, and we move on to bigger and better. Hitman team, you haven't gotten all that much airtime this deployment, so you're taking point with this operation. We have confirmed the location of the Burlock Privateer Headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta Island chain. They're a mercenary group like us, who unfortunately have turned to outright piracy. According to surveillance data, we have determined that they are the culprit of the recent high-profile hijacking of the Federation-registered cargo ship May Lynx. The May Lynx is supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. Nothing specific from the Federation contact about the cargo, however, our orders are to retrieve it if possible, or to neutralize it if we can't. Attempts to negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, you are to approach the island from the south along with support and establish control over the area. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Be aware that the Burlocks have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Normally, we'd stay out of contact with any Federation-adjacent taskings. But this is the last thing we need to do for our current contract, so I'll let it slide. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? Now get to work. Dismissed. All right, cool. So that's us, Hitman team. That's the bad guys over there at Fort Dagger Point. And uh, yeah, start escape to continue. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so their mission briefing, uh, start mission, obviously, that's to start the mission. Got some files here. Got factions. I'm going to use the mouse. <laughs> Again, using the joystick is really strange like this. So I'm just going to use the mouse. Uh, pilot entries, nothing. We got nothing. Settings, change difficulty. All right, let's start the mission. Okay, we can choose our plane. We've got a T-21, uh, TF-4, 
MiG-21. Oh, we don't have any money for this. Okay. Zero credits. So I guess we'll go with the... Um, the TF-4. Right? Wait, wait. Unguided... Uh... Is that unguided? UGBL? The uh, unguided bomb, huh? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, wait, hold on. Empty. No, I want... I, I At least... Well, actually, you know what? Let's go with the um, T-21. I want to see how this one... Uh, Layers. Color scheme one. All right, let's do it. It's a drop tank. Yeah, fine, whatever. They're both unguided, I think. <laughs> We're just going to have to uh, see what happens. All right, so let's actually play this game. The control scheme is a little strange. The triggers are the... Um, the throttle, so that's going to be something to get used to. I might have to change that, but... Uh, well, we'll see when we play. Ooh. This is the Avril Buffley Airborne Warning and Control Systems Aircraft Galaxy. Hitman team, get on the clock. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The triggers are the yaw. I think throttle are the shoulder buttons. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, this is why I should have went into the key bindings first. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. Toggle arcade controls. Is this, uh... uh... Let's see. Access binding. Oh, here we go. All right, this is good. Okay, this is good. This is good. Full access binding control. Now, that... I think I, I I glossed over this, right? Which is weird, but... All right, so uh, I want thrust axis. Hmm. How do I do this? Yaw axis. I actually want yaw to be... Uh, yeah, that's going to be strange. I think I maybe I should play this in VR. Because you know what? Uh... As as much as I like the control sticks, I want... Well, no, that's... How did I do... Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, because that was Star Wars Squadrons. That's that's different. That's space. Oh, man. I don't know. Well, you know what? I might just get... I might try to get used to this, but... Um, but, yeah, I mean, if, if you really want to change your stuff... You've got your axis bindings here, which is pretty good. Again, for all those HOTAS users out there, th this is uh, this is really good from what I've seen. Uh, I don't have HOTAS, so I can't really tell you how good it is, but uh, let's see. Right thumbstick, X-axis. That's Y-axis. Yaw. I, do I want yaw on the left stick? Roll should be on the right stick. I think roll should be on the right stick, right? Gamepad right. And then yaw axis should be on the... Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. All right. Left trigger. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's turn this off. Let's... uh Left axis. Okay, and then this... Uh, start or escape to unbind. Oops, that's not uh good. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. Well, I mean, this is a plane. It's different from a starfighter. So the yaw axis might be a little uh, bad. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Thrust should be. Oh man, I wish you could do like uh. There should be an option. Uh, hopefully, uh, the developers will uh will understand what I'm trying to say here. I don't know if they're going to watch, but uh there should be a thrust where like it's zero thrust on the on the um of the trigger, right? So on the right trigger it should be zero, but when you push it down it goes 100%, right? Whatever. So that's what I want to do, but I don't think that's possible here. 
Uh, I think gun should be on the tr on the uh, the right trigger. So our left trigger should be thrust. I don't know if that'll work. Left trigger. Uh, start button to unbind, which is weird, but okay. Uh, oops. Uh, controls. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no, wait, that's right. There's a Okay, okay. I, I no no no. I think I I think I know what to do. I I think I know what to do. <clears throat> um, let's see. Left shoulder. Okay, see. So that should be max throttle. This should be a break, right? So this uh, the right shoulder button sh uh, sorry, left bu uh, shoulder button should act as an air brake, right? And then trigger to uh, to accelerate. Hopefully that works. Um, why? Uh, no, 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 no. This one, this one, I'm gonna have to get rid of. Sorry to say, but we're not gonna have any look controls uh, on this. I know it's I know it's pretty boring watching me navigate through a menu, but uh, this is my first time playing, so I'm just going to uh, do this. Okay, so no view, which uh, is going to be weird. Oh, I you know what? I could put the thrust on the. Uh, no, that was that was squadrons. Uh, what I was thinking is putting the thrust on the right control stick, but uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, roll pitch yaw. Hmm. I think that will. I think that will work. Okay, let me just uh, test this out. Zoom. Roll. Increasing. Oh, nope, I'm dropping speed. That is a bad thing. Hold on just a second. On my trigger... Oh, goodness. Controls. On my trigger, I should um, invert this. I think that would work. Right... We will see. Increasing speed. There we go. Good stuff. Weapon keys to switch. Powered missile. Drop tank. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, guided missile. Gotcha. Whoops. All right, go into a first-person view here. Cycle target keys. Change targets. Okay, got it. I'm doing that. Calculate your every move. Okay. No checkpoints. Gonna be tough. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll just have to. Uh... Wait, am I supposed to shoot these things? Oh, yeah, that's a target. Oh. Oh no! Wait, wait! Oh no! Oh no! The uh, yaw controls are inverted for some reason. Yaw axis invert. Turn off, please. Oh, I gotta use the mouse. Oh my goodness! All right. All right, this should be good. Yeah, there we go. Oops, wait a minute. Why am I not, uh... Am I? Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Okay. Selected. Yes. That's what we got to do. Boom. All right. I was like, wait, why isn't it locking on? No, that's, um, oh, you know what? Roll, yeah, no, I, I was just thinking maybe roll should be on the other stick, but I'm fine with this. This is okay. I just need to get used to it. Oh, this would be so good in VR. All right, I just need to lock on. There we go. Boom, baby. Destroyed. Next target. 
Oops. Breaking the uh, sound barrier there, right? You got what that effect is? Boom. Wait, hold on. Uh, is the music actually playing? I might have turned it down a little too low. Hold on. Let's actually max it out. I don't think there's any music. But that's okay. Uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, it's completely fine. Don't worry about it. Missile away, missile away. Missile Oops. away. There we go, there we go. Boom, nice. Get rid of these PT boats. I'm, uh, I really like this game so far. It's 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 prime Ace Combat, you know. It's like if you're a fan of Ace Combat, this game is definitely for you. Oh, let me just uh, turn around here. All right, I need to find out some targets here. Now we got some AA on the beaches there. I'm just going to go for this PT boat. And I am taking my time. <laughs> oh, no. That's not the right button. Boom, baby. Oops. Oh, no. I'm going to... Missile away. Ground asset knocked out. Okay, got it. Ooh, aircraft damage. All right, I'm gonna do a. Uh... Got him. It's on top of that building, right? Oh. I wonder if there's a... Oh, I want to try something. If I hold the missile button, will it... Will the camera track the missile? That's uh, what I want to know. I think that's a feature in Ace Combat. Oh, it does? Oh, it does? Nice. Nice. If you hold the... Uh, if you hold the button down, you get the uh, missile camera. So that's pretty cool. That's Ace Combat like. All right, let me just uh, swing around here. Make sure I don't crash into the ocean. Boom! Nice. All right, slow down, slow down. Okay. Got a hit. Oh. Nice. Okay. Defenses are clear. Ronin, move in. Copy all. Drop the rope and get out real quick. Looks like everyone's scattering. All right. I think they're launching from the um, what's gonna call it? The uh, airstrip there. Yep. Oh no, oh no, I need to... There we go, good. Oh, the battle's over there, huh? Whoops, I need to get over there. Oh, they're, they're gonna lock onto me soon. Come on, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Using the gun there, you know? Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna use the gun again. Oh no! I should have used some uh some flares. Oh no. Come on, come on. Got him. Just did a little burst with the machine gun there. 
All right, no, 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 I'm gonna lock onto this guy. Come on. Nice hit, nice hit. Got him. All right, wait a minute. Where are the rest of these guys at? Oh yeah, this is this is a great game, dude. Oh, come on. There he is, there he is. I got him, I got him. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Fire a missile. Flares, flares. Come on, get the gun on him. This is like top gun. <laughs> Just a couple hits. Flares, flares, flares. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is great. I wonder how this is in VR. I sh maybe I should have played in VR. <laughs> nice. Another missile. Oh, I lost. I lost tone. I got him. Whoops. Oh man. Stand by until Ronan gives the all clear. You know what? I will want to I'm going to try to change something here. Um Let's see. Hold on. All right, for key bindings, uh, gunfire should be, uh, let's change this to right trigger. Missile should be this button, right shoulder. Uh, let's see, flares are fine. Um, uh, and why? Well, you know what? I want to change the targeting. How do I change target? Uh, hmm. Hmm. How am I gonna? You know what? I'm going to put change target to the left thumbstick button, and the flare should be. Ugh, should I do? Uh, Let's get rid of this. Let's put this on. Hmm. Put this on face button left. All right. Should be good, right? Oh, no, wait. Expand map. Uh, that should be. I think this should be special left. The uh, select button, basically. Uh, let's see. Uh, hide, unhide UI. Weapon cycle. Should I press Y for that? I think. I think I'll do that. And then A and B are unused. Uh, I don't know. Well, you know what? There are multiple, again, very friendly to players. I love this. But there are multiple slots you can do. So, uh, let's say for... Uh, let's see. That's left mouse button. This should be A. And this should be B. Which, oh, well, it just... Yeah, uh, it kind of... Uh, let's see. Missile launch. Button right. Button left. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think it'll work. But that's pretty cool. Again... Again, really friendly to players. You can have like three separate bindings for your for your keys. So that's great right there. So now I have uh, I have guns on A and B and the trigger and shoulder button. All right, cool.
Oops. Uh. Just a couple more targets to take out. Uh, hmm. Sorry again for going back into the menu. I might change that uh, that binding for changing the targets. Oh man, I really think Y should be changed targets, right? Y button should change targets. Uh. Yeah, so uh, SP module should be thumbstick, and then change target should be Y. There we go. All right, good, good, good. I'll have to remove my thumb from the thumbstick to change targets, but that's okay. All right, let's get the lighthouse here. Where's the lighthouse? Oops, I need to hit it again. Let me increase my speed. A little break here. Hitman 1 locked on. Cargo ship? Am I supposed to shoot that? Substation. I missed. There we go. Good. And I think I'm supposed to shoot that cargo ship. we go. Everything is done. Whoa. What just happened. I think I forgot to change a control here. Let me see. Hold on. Change uh, weapon cycle. Here we go. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. I think that should be good. I think I've got my key bindings down. So if I play in VR, this will be what I use. All right, I think we're done. But I, uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Let me check out my kills here. From this contract, and our opportunities in this region have just about dried up. If no one objects, and your contract with Sicario is still in effect, pack your bags. I looked a little into the Cascadian situation. 
I believe we'll make a little something of ourselves there. Okay. Got an achievement, which is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> if you're into that thing. Sicario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but well, let's just say. Well, you know, I'm gonna skip this because I am probably gonna stop it for today. Uh, at least I can check out the mission briefing later on, so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, this is Project Wingman. It is a really, uh, to me uh, at least, it is a really great, great uh, release. You know, the game is uh, actually pretty good. Uh, for something that uh, is trying to be like Ace Combat, they they nail it. They nail it, you know, just perfectly. At least I think so. Um, maybe uh, for the hardcore guys out there, it's not as good as Ace Combat, but I, I think it's a it's a great attempt. You know, they they really they really got the spirit of the uh, the game. <laughs> which is which is I mean I, I would think it'd be easy but it's actually pretty hard some games try to do the ace combat thing and they're not well they're not that bad but it's you know ace combat is is very different <laughs> so to speak very Japanese which is it's a good thing but uh, yeah this is actually pretty good and what, what I do commend uh, for this game is the amount of options that they have to tailor to the players like you know whatever specific style they have from HUD color to field of view I know some of you out there will probably crank up the field of view I'm fine with 65 but you know, I have a small monitor but especially the controls I mean you know this is great right here this right here with the the three different kind of bindings for each uh, action the axis bindings like fully customizable the curves and dead zone, which I'm not even going to use because I'm using a controller. But if you have a Hotas, this is this is what people want. All right, and I don't know what calibration is, but oh yeah, well I just pressed B on that. But yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's great. Oh, they have a mouse aim feature if you're playing with a mouse and keyboard. But uh, yeah, this I mean this game is seriously very 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 accessible to the player so if you want to customize things like I just did during the whole mission there you can do so um, uh, yeah oh they've got uh, options for uh, high FPS as well unlocked I guess I think this is unlocked right oh, 60 for me well you know what I don't have 144 Hertz so <laughs> sorry I can't really set it there but uh yeah, this is this is really good. I really want to check it out in VR. After playing after playing Pancake 2D, uh, you know, I really want to check this out in VR. I want to see how it runs because this seems like it runs pretty well. But you know, VR is a different different beast altogether. And um, well, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean that's this is that's one thing that this game has over I guess Ace Combat Seven because I was really hoping that Ace Combat Seven would eventually get its VR component, but it seems like after a year or two, they never really gave uh, PC VR users the VR mode for Ace Combat Seven. So I don't know what's up with that, but I really wanted to try that and. Um, yeah, they never did. So if you really want an Ace Combat game with VR, Project Wingman is really great. No, this game is really good. I, I'm i surprised. You know, I thought it was going to be like, uh, yeah, it's okay. You know, but it's actually, uh, you know, it's actually pretty good. I'm going to play more of this. Uh, well, I'm going to record more of this. And I'm going to definitely try out the VR. But, uh, yeah, this Conquest mode... I don't know what this is. Let me just check this out before I stop the video. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like a wave-based uh, survival kind of uh, mode, combat mode. Okay, sure. All right, okay, I see. Well, I'm not going to get into this, but I just wanted to see what this mode uh, kind of offered, and I guess that's what... 
the mode offers. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, the best part, at least for me, is that it's single player. <laughs> I, I'm, again, I'm not a multiplayer kind of guy, so... <clears throat> yeah, I didn't really care much for the multiplayer component of Ace Combat 7. Uh, enough to, to play it. I mean, I, I really did like the single player, but... Uh, yeah, I, did, I have no interest in multiplayer at all, so... This game is, uh, I mean, it's single player only, so are they, I, I, I don't know if they're going to include a multiplayer component for those out there who like multiplayer, but, uh, if they do, then, you know, that's, that's on them and, uh, that's pretty cool. If you like multiplayer, hopefully they'll put a multiplayer mode in this game, but, uh, I'm fine with it as it is because I am a single player kind of, uh, gamer, <laughs> so to speak, so... But yeah, this is Project Wingman. It's 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 really great. Um, what else can I say about it? Twenty four dollars, I think, uh, on the Steam store. Um, it's out now. Uh, that's about it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.